loved one, Zoom Zoom here, and I welcome you to the other LP that I'm doing on this channel. If the new future on the planet Earth. Many kinds of creatures once coexisted on this verdant planet. After countless wars and untold environmental destruction, the planet plunged into an ice age. Humanity was left with no choice but to migrate in mass from the ground. The ice age finally came to an end. Humans began developing methods while they were living on the ground to one day restore our planet to the lush green landscape it once was. During this time, a large mysterious comet fell to Earth. However, progressing of restoring the lost ecosystem was coming along. Well, and humanity was eventually able to live on the surface again. Several hundred years have passed since then. Into a young man named Jason Frudnick, known for being a genius in the field of robotic engineering. One day he came upon a creature he had never seen before. A frog. No record of this creature existed. Yes, a frog. With his interest in this mysterious creature peaked. Jason named it Fred and began to observe it closely. Fred the Frog. But after some time had passed, Fred escaped. Jason gave chase and he observed Fred jump into a mysterious hole. That pew from some ceiling out of nowhere. He was rather astounded by the phenomenon he witnessed. But Jason followed Fred down the same cave. He eventually found himself in a cave deep underground. That's when he discovered a large rookie rope. Almost as if this vehicle with the name Sophia the Third on the side was inviting him in, the door to the cockpit opened up. In order to bring Fred back, Jason hopped into Sophia the Third and set out on this adventure. Little did he know, the strange phenomena were only the beginning. Just getting started. <laughs> We're playing Blaster Master Zero. <laughs> That's an opening. I have mobile files, and yes, there are other characters we can play. But we're going to be starting, and there is multiplayer. I won't be able to show that sadly. Is this one of those underground forest areas they made during the last ice age? Months of years have passed, but the ecosystem is alive and well. It would seem the preservation of the system still functions somehow. Better still keep my guard up. Never know what could be still be here. And this is Blaster Master Zero. Press Y to fire. We can fire up. Diagonally. Press B to jump. Press A to fire missiles. And that's how this game will be for a while, until we get our other weapons. Blue pellets recover SP, green ones recover HP. This game's a remake of the original Blaster Master in some respects. It's much more friendly than the original. L, we can switch our weapons. Pressing R allows us to go diagonally if I want to move. Pressing X allows us to jump out. This is Jason. Jason Frunnick. What sort of name is Frunnick? <laughs> and this was his name in the original Blastmaster. Fred's signal was said by being transmitted from the forest area. 
the receiver was displaying displayed on the monitor. I guess I'm pretty lucky that Sophia has a functionality like this. With the receiver, I'm able to gen get a general idea where Fred is. I can't help but wonder how Sophia can track a signal though. Then again, I don't really know how anything in this machine works yet. This is our checkpoint. It also saves the data. And this ladder will climb down as Jason. That pitiful pea shear is our weapon outside, but inside. We don't have grenades, but we also have a way to upgrade a weapon. We've got a shop that can go through walls, which will be quite useful. Map 1 of the first area. Now we have a shotgun blast, which isn't as good. Bubble door, we can actually move around without changing direction. We can jump up the ladder. And if Sophia the first too far away, we can call it back. Let's go in this cave. Sorry, I really love the music in this game. The sequels get better somehow. Which is impressive. machine gun and we lost our weapon. Yeah taking hits not a good thing. For a while we'll be using this shot until we get to the best weapon in this game. probably been talking about the other weapon, the weapons that Jason has, the secondary weapon. Go right! And climb. Enemies drop down. And we find a face. Can't destroy that. So we can only go down. And we went too far down. In water, we're sluggish. Which is why I try and avoid it. We will get a way to move. Oh, right. We need to go down here anyway. And we can 
swim faster than climbing ladders, so we might as well do this. third game actually more than the second because the third game just is so much more lenient it's also so much harder to compensate now we get to our new weapon a reflector oh and we've got the other weapons we have the azure striker or just striker not too great but not too bad then we've got a flamethrower, which is sadly the weak thing. And then we get the weapon we're going to be using the entire game. Wave. Now, I think we've got a boss. No, we don't yet. Yeah. Just watch. This is a new enemy. It's dead. Everything, for some reason, is weak. Except for the final boss. And even then, it might as well be. Considering <laughs> in hard mode, it's also weak to it. What the hell is it? That? Some giant mutant? Damn it! I guess I gotta do this. Warning the forest destroyer. Muffer brain. I didn't know we were playing Metroid. <laughs> now we just. A joke. And all because of Wave. With that, we get the hyper shot. You can now defeat some enemies that you previously couldn't. Hmm. This is a can restore one of Sophia's functions. Finalized by this that chip is this being displayed inside my helmet. I got a feeling there are more chips like this out there. It makes me wonder just who in the world made all this tech. Man, I love digging into this, but I gotta find frogs and find fried red. That damn frog. Gotta find our frog. Now, I'm surprised he doesn't come from forest anymore. I see this is coming from some kind of residential area. This is actually pretty close by. Okay, let's get the show on the road. But before that, let's first put this receiver on because we've got to do that. And yeah, this is all the names for them. If we look at our shot, it is stronger. Things we can one shot, we can one shot now. Things that were tedious or joke. Water's still annoying. The jellyfish, no longer a friend. Can't really do anything else. Oh, actually, we can do one more thing. We can typically do that one up there. We can't do anything else about it. 
about this area. We'll be back. But we need to get our first upgrade. This is the one thing we forgot. I guess I can talk about... No, I can't because I want to talk about in, I think it's the next... No, it's the third area, I think it is. I've got the Drap Trappers. saying about most of these enemies. The condition bomb. Does this chip lets me use a new sub weapon? Gotta figure out how to read my surroundings and use the best ones for a situation at hand. But let's head down. Now head down. Sophia's arsenal. So we need to do this. I was gonna say we don't need to, but no. Granted, we need to do it for 100% anyway, so it's like. Sadly, we can't go faster. Second time boss, enemy rushes. Warning, thousand views. Thunderbreaker! Something that's actually quite useful, especially in the war. So, let's get back to Sophia. And, let's switch. 
Thunderbreaker. In war, this is really useful and fun. Sorry, I really like it. Suddenly, it doesn't really appear in the later games. It technically does. Alright, we can actually destroy those walls now. Uh, we'll come back here later. We need to do one more thing, because I forgot those bursts. I thought we could only do those later. Save. You'd think missiles would be the thing that destroys this, but no, it's not. Now we can finally get our first health upgrade. And that's all we can actually do this time. Truly. No joke this time. And no misremembering. We will be back here though. Oh boy, will we. And now we're on area two. So this is the residential area. This place sure has seen better days. Looks like there's mutants here. Gotta make my way through carefully. I've seen the sources, the blade of my mother. Let's see where the head leads. And next time we'll explore this area. Cause we don't have a map. So this is Inozuma. Signing out.